What's going on everyone about Red Politics here? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to be continuing the What Are My Thoughts series. And this is a series um, that I had started a while back. And it kind of is me, well it's what it is, is it's me researching different political topics that are important in the United States and that are going on in the United States. And me giving my opinion on you know, me researching them and then giving my opinion on them. And so what I wanted to start off with with this series was researching each individual president in the United States, giving my thoughts about them, and then at the end of the series, then I would I will rank them based off what like how well I think they performed during the presidency. Or, you know, um, you know, I'll probably include kind of like you know the 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 their um their accomplishments as vice president though well no it'll probably just be what they you know how well of a president I think they were so the last the first video on my channel was with the fan with one of our founding fathers and the father of the country founding president of the country George Washington and I do believe he's the best president the United States has ever had. I mean, for one, without him, there would not have been a United States. But his vice president during his two terms in office was John Adams. And so the second president in the United States that we will be talking about today is John Adams. He was the second president of the United States. He did only serve one term because he did lose to Thomas Jefferson in the election of 1800. But let's talk about some of his accomplishments and then I'll give my overall opinion on him in the you know at the end of the video so john adams was born in 1735 and for one he was a founding father so i think he you know obvi he obviously gets a lot of credit already for you know being a founding member of the country founding father of the country and he also supported United, the United States' is independence. And, I mean, when we talk about true conservatives, John Adams was a true conservative. He supported, you know, he supported the, our, uh, you know, he was very strong when it came to supporting independence. He supported individual liberties. He wanted, I mean, I mean he is, you know, the, be, you know, he supported you know, you know, basic rights, you know, the right to freedom of speech, you know, you know, the Second Amendment, you know, all the, you know, all of that kind of stuff he supported, right, you know, right alongside George Washington. So he really, you know, he was a really true patriot conservative. He, like I said, you know, it was very, he supported America's independence. He really supported the true individual liberties. And like, like, and you know, like I said, you know, your first ten amendments, you know, freedom of speech, you know, the right to bear arms, you know, that kind of stuff he supported. And what's also, what I also, he gets a lot of credit for, and I mean, if not all of the credit, is he founded the United States Navy. He, uh, he, you know, signed the legislation that made the Navy a branch. And ultimately, you know, the reason we have the United States Navy is because of John Adams. What's also notable with John Adams is he, when it, when it came to conflicts, when it came to like, you know, war, offensive conflicts, whatever, he was more notably anti-war. Yes, he supported the revolution against the British, but he going to war especially during his time as president was not his it, it was not his first choice he preferred to solve things out with diplomacy you know he much preferred the diplomatic actions of like uh you know he, he much preferred being able to try and handle things peacefully without having to go to war so yes he like i said he did support the revolution against the british but, you know, that was justified. I mean, that was, I mean, it was justified. Like, you know, it, the American, you know, the United States needed its independence. And 
But another interesting thing is he actually defended the British after the Boston Massacre. You know, he... I mean, he... You know, he was very... Uh, I mean, if you guys want to go look that up, I think it's very interesting. But he, he actually defended the British, you know. He... He criticized... Uh, he, he criticized Alexander Hamilton, a member of his own party. And... You know, he, you know, he had a lot of interesting quotes. He was a very, you know, he was a very, uh, you know, he was very, um, overall a very strong leader. And something that people talk about is, well, he only served one term. He can't be that good. Or he can't accomplish, he can't have accomplished that much. Well, yes and no. And I think, you know, it's not only what he did as president, but his you know, core values. Like I said, he was a strong conservative. He was a true fighter for the United States. He was a founding father. He supported American independence from the, uh, from, you know, from the British. He supported individual liberties. He, <clears throat> he, you know, he was a very vocal about these things. He stood by George Washington. There's a reason George Washington picked him as his vice president. And overall, I mean, uh, I think he was, I mean, not only was he a tremendous guy, but I think, you know, him, like, also, like, you know, signing in, you know, legislation and, you know, getting the Navy branch as, you know, part of the, you know, the military, the United States military was also a very big accomplishment and i think that's another thing that you know makes him you know a pretty darn good president and overall the, pe the people who say oh he's you know he didn't really do much no he did more than you think he did i get you know i'm not gonna keep going in circles and repeating everything but you get the point and so to kind of wrap up my overall thoughts of the second president of the United States, yes, he served one term, but you know what? I think he was a good president, and I think people can learn a lot from John Adams, and I think people can learn a lot from George Washington, you know, in terms of, you know, standing up for what you believe, you know, being strong with believing America should retain its independence, continue, you know, being strong about how the United States should have the individual liberties, because I believe that we should have our constitutional rights. All conservatives, you know, every I mean, not just conservative people. Everyone should want the constitutional rights that these founding fathers specifically designed and purposefully came up for the citizens of the United States. And so overall, to give my kind of last thoughts, I think John Adams was a good president. I think he, you know... Even if he didn't do a like, even if he didn't do a substantial amount, or maybe the fact he only served one term, I think what he accomplished during his term is what makes him such not only a great person but a good president, you know, great president. So, anyways, that's what I had for today's video, and the third president of the United States, uh, or the the third video of the series is going to be about the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, who did beat John Adams in the election of 1800. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts on John, on John Adams are. I'm genuinely curious. And thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more political content coming your guys' way.